all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you please invite your friends and share the video with everybody you know uh today i made a video that's uh i'm kind of upset that people are not doing their part and the whole idea is you know i saw some uh, comments as very silly and very stupid uh, but the most funny thing that the muslims they were happy and actually this is what convinced me that i should not make the muslims happy the devil is happy then let us make the devil upset uh, for sure our videos deserve more and we are asking the christians to work with us if they care and i know some is coming here for education some coming because they are real warrior and some they are coming for fun so you decide who you are by your act and the lord he said from their fruits you shall know them now here today our topic is about the trinity this is a muslim website i choose it just to show you how the muslims they attack the trinity what is the source of the christian concept of the trinity you know the funny is the muslims they are attacking the trinity but yet their god himself do not know what the trinity is i mean isn't it funny that all the muslims suddenly they became scholars in the bible and yet their god do not know what the trinity is if we go in the quran we will find that the god of the quran which is the founder of islam which is muhammad he himself he is not aware of what the christians believe and here we notice right away that islam must be false because if the muslims today they knew the trinity better than muhammad that's mean muhammad cannot be a prophet of god if we go in the quran and we ask ourselves where the quran speak about the trinity you will find the quran speaking about something we as a christians we do not know which means we do not believe in and we have nothing to do with it so this is clear evident evidence that the Quran cannot be a book coming from God because the God who is speaking about the Trinity he should know at least what is the Trinity is if we ask any Abdul what the Christian believe in the Trinity when 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 the Christian says the Trinity what the Christians mean he will say to you that they believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Okay, where in the Quran we see Allah speak that the Christians believe in Allah, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. If we go in chapter 5, verse number 116, you will see the Quran proving to us that this book is made by an idiot who do not know what he is talking about. And when God said, and this is a false translation, it doesn't say God, it says Allah. When Allah said, O Isa, not Jesus, this is false translation too, son of Mary, did you say to the men or to the people to take me uh, and my mother as gods? Beside Allah, not the parts. Let's change the translation. This translation is kind of weird. This guy is like taking too much hashish. I don't know why it's not I'm clicking it's not working all right let us see different translation so when Allah he said oh Isa son of Mary did you say to to the to mankind take me and my mother uh, as God beside Allah here first of all you will see that this is right in the spot the Quran uh, expose the false ideology of Islam because the Muslim they say that Jesus was sent to the Jews yet the Quran saying that Allah is asking Jesus if he said to mankind and how Jesus can say to mankind unless he is not from the mankind I mean what does that mean if he is a man so is so, so going to be from the mankind but oh anyway here you will see it says that the Quran confirm that what the Christians believe is to worship Mary 
and Jesus as God and Allah is a question in Jesus about that and here you will see the city Muslims they say to you as an example well uh, how God in the Old Testament he asked uh, Adam where are you uh, well how Allah here asking Jesus did you say so and this is how silly you know they are hypocrite they take always their question questions and double standards it's okay for Allah to say did you say well don't Allah knows and it's not okay for the God of the Bible to say to uh, to uh, Adam where are you hmm? so when they want it's it, it have a metaphorical meaning when they want it does not but here we notice something very clear that is as if this is a false assumption Christians uh, uh, in, in all sects and when we say Christians in all sect we mean Christians Christians are Protestant Catholic Orthodox all of them believe the Father the Son the Holy Spirit none of them believe that Mary is a divine so this is number one mistake in the Quran proving to us that the God of Islam he do not know himself what is a Trinity so we advise the Muslims to go and educate their God about the Trinity before they come to us and say oh you believe in a false uh, Trinity it is your God who believe in a false Trinity not us then we find Allah in the Quran make bigger poopoo -poo. not only he do not know what the Trinity he make another mistake look at this how you say that the Christians believe in three gods and this is what he said in other verse in chapter 4 verse number uh, uh, 171 but yet in this verse here it says five seventeen. they indeed became kuffar who say Lu Allah is the Messiah okay hold on hold on you see let us replace here for the sake of argument now for sure we don't agree that Allah is the father Allah is not our God he is a Satan he we don't you know he's a fake God anyway but his satanic name of a false liar so let us just replace for the sake of argument how you say that the Christians believe that Allah is the Messiah yet you say that the Christian believe in the Trinity because if they believe that Allah is the Messiah then who is the Trinity who is the third one Mary that would be the second person then are you are you getting my point guys are you getting my point If the Quran is saying that Jesus, the Christian, they believe that the Messiah is Allah, which means supposedly the Father, right? Okay, so who is the first and who is the second and who is the third? You just made two, one. <laughs> the Christian don't believe in that. The Christian believe that the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Spirit is a person. But you just said that the Christian says that Allah is the Messiah. So what is the Trinity? Again, the God of Islam is doing poo poo, stupid teaching for a person who himself confused, he do not know what the Trinity is. So we advise the Muslims before you come to us and speak about the Trinity go and teach your God and tell him hey Allah the Christian don't believe that the father is a son the Christian don't believe that the son is the Holy Spirit they don't and by the way what is the Holy Spirit the Quran mentioned the Holy Spirit and suddenly in the Quran the Holy Spirit became an angel The Quran took the word Holy Spirit so we can find it literally as a Holy Spirit but the Muslims they say to us that the Holy Spirit is Jibreel see the funny 
the Muslim, they will say to you, if you search the whole Bible, you will not find the word Trinity appear. Actually, it appear coming as in the in the Greek in the Greek language as Terias, which is the tree, appear in tons of places. But if we go here, and we search in the Quran, I will search for the word Al Qudus, which is a word starting from the Gospel. Chapter 2, verse number 87. Chapter 2, verse number 253. Chapter 5, verse number 110. And chapter 16, verse 102. And we gave Jesus, the son of Mary, the clear signs, and we confirmed him with the Holy Spirit. Hold on. Who is the Holy Spirit? And why you, and how you can confirm, this is a stupid translation, by the way, but we will go with it. How you can confirm Jesus by the Holy Spirit? Did you confirm Muhammad by the Holy Spirit? No. If there is any place in the Quran it says that uh, the Holy Spirit is Jibreel, no. The Muslim, they say to you, oh, we take it as a conclusion. So you say that the Christian should not take the conclusion of the word Trinity. Trinity, by the way, we do not need to use it, by the way. It's not necessarily. I mean, you can, you can call it whatever you want, but Trinity is just a simple... A, a, a presentation of what we believe as Father, Son, Holy Spirit, but we do not need to use that word. So when you say that the Holy Spirit, and as it's appeared in front of us, is Jibreel, what is your evidence? Secondly, how Jibreel became holy. If you remember in the Quran, Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. So how the holy bow down to the unholy? That is the most stupid argument ever. Let us read together. وَإِذْ قُلْنَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ سُجُدُوا لِآدَمَ فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسَ أَبَى And this is repeated in many chapters in the Quran because the Quran is a stupid book. There is no way God he will keep repeating the same thing over and over. And when we say to the angels, bow yourself to Adam. So hold on. You say to us that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. And then Jibreel, the Holy Spirit, he bowed down to Adam. And who is Adam? A person who is a sinner who disobeyed God and he was kicked out of heaven. What kind of religion believe that what we call him holy Bow down to the unholy. Are we following people? Are we following? This is a sign of a stupidity of the thief who stole the words from the gospel, but yet he himself do not know what is the Holy Spirit is. I hope we will not lose electricity. We have a very bad storm outside. And actually, I lost internet just a minute before I start. That's why I was late. So, uh, as you see in front of us here, the one who made the Quran is a certified idiot. Yet he called, they claim that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. Yet Jibreel, he bowed down to Adam with the rest of the angels. Because when you bow down and you are holy to the unholy, that is not only unjust, that is a stupid. Secondly, how you call angels holy if in Islam only God is holy? And here you will notice the stupidity and the contradiction of what it's called Islam. Either you believe in many holy or you believe in one holy.
Now we see sometime in the Arabic and in, in the English text that the Muslim they add the Holy Prophet. You will never find that in Arabic, by the way. There is nowhere in Arabic you will see a Muslim saying uh, uh, Al Quddus Muhammad. Never, never. Only in the stupid English articles, the Muslim they say the Holy Prophet. So Muslim do not believe in a Holy Prophet. And actually, the Quran confirmed that the Prophet is not holy at all. Not only he is not holy. He is filthy sinner. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. In chapter 48, verse number 2, the Quran says, We will forgive thee your sin, the one in, it was in the past, and the one to come. In the same story we mentioned to you about the angels where Allah he ordered them to bow down to Adam that because the angels they commit sin why because the angels they question Allah about creating Adam and inheriting the earth and that is a sin you cannot question God what kind of angels they are questioning God unless they are Lucifer All the story in the front of us confirm to us that Islam is a stupid religion. Man, we have a very bad storm. I hope we will not lose electricity. Um, I hear the sound outside. Uh, all right, but if you read the story, you will see how the story is silly. The, the angels they question the authority of God in that moment, as you see here with me. It says, And when the Lord said huh, to the angels, I am creating in the earth, not sitting. This is stupid translation again. Someone to inherit the earth, they said, Will thou put there? Someone who will do corruption and mischievement and bloodshed, and that is a sin. So, angels in Islam are not pure, are not holy. So, how you say the Holy Spirit is Jibreel? If we ask any Muslim, is it allowed or it is not allowed? Is it a sin to question God's decision? They will say to you right away, no, we cannot. This is a big sin. So how the angels are questioning God's decision. And then Allah, he struggled with them and he decided to, to, to prove to them that he is a smart. So he taught Adam all the names and he told them, he placed the things, he named them for them in the front of them, like he named the TV, TV. He named the zucchini, zucchini, the cucumber, cucumber. And then he brought the angels. He taught Adam the names, which is, you know, like the God, he said in the old in the in, in, in the Old Testament that God taught Adam the names of all things. This was Muhammad. He took the story from there. But Muhammad he added his spice, and then the story became so stupid. So Allah now he want to prove to the angels that they are wrong about the accusation they made against Adam that he would do mischief. In. So he taught Adam all the names, and then he placed all the things in the front of them, and then he said to them, "Okay, tell me the names of those things if you really truly know what are you talking about." If you are, have you seen in the Muslim translation, not my translation, if you speak truly. So how you call Jibreel a Holy Spirit if he is not speaking it truly and Allah accusing him to be a false person and accusing all the angels to be false. And for sure his story is very stupid because Allah now he proved that he is God because he named things. I mean, how silly is that? I will name my cat Susu and then I ask you, do you know the name of my cat? You say, no, I say to you, her name is Susu and I am now Allah worship me. What kind of God he proved to his angels that he is God by naming things and then asking them what the name of those things. What about we do the opposite? You ask the angels to name things and don't tell you and then you tell them. That will prove that you know the unseen. But as you see, this is a very childish, stupid story collection of fabrication and legions Muhammad put it together and this is make it falafel shish kebab and this is Muhammad presenting his God to us 
So as you see here, we prove that the Holy Spirit cannot be Jibreel, as the Muslims they claim, and not even a single verse in the Quran says it clearly that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. All what they have is the following verse. They say it in this verse here, chapter 16, verse 102, it says, Say the Holy Spirit sent it down from the Lord. Okay, they say this is Jibreel. Hold on. So why he is not saying Jibreel is the Holy Spirit? It says the Holy Spirit. And again, why only Jibreel he is called Holy Spirit if he is just an angel? What about his name? His name is Jibreel. So he's Jibreel and he's Holy Spirit. What about the other angels? Are, it, are they dirty spirit? Because if only one of them is a Holy Spirit, that means the rest are not holy. Are we listening, guys? This is how silly and this is how stupid the religion of Islam. Now, we will go a little bit to the Bible and let us get Islam busted from the beginning. When a Muslim, he says to us, That Jesus is not God, but we have tons of verses in the Bible confirm that everything is created by the Messiah, and the Bible confirmed with details. For by him all where all things were created that are in heaven and in earth, visible and invisible. Him who? That is Jesus. Now, if we go in the Old Testament, we will find the following. You see, we as a Christians and the Jews, we have a very great book, organized book, not like the Quran. The Quran, to find a story about Abraham, you have to search 20, 30 chapters to find Abraham. Abraham is like a, 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 like a, a demono and of images you know and broken down and then we put them in a box and only allah knows where we can't find abraham in the quran the same as a story about jesus a story, a story about moses it's all over the quran the bible is not like that this is a very well organized book because it's not made by the arab like me it's made by people who they are highly educated when i say made it's mean organized and prepared in a very very intelligent way so now here in the front of us, this is the timetable. If we go to Genesis 4,000 years ago, if you remember, there's an Abdul, he was saying for 4,000 years, 4,000 years, and he was quoting the Bible saying that, oh, Israel, your God is one. He was trying to prove to us that in the whole Old Testament, there's nowhere it mentioned the Trinity, correct? And this is why he said for 4,000 years, the Jews never worship except what they are instructed to worship, which means, Oh Israel, your God is one. By saying for 4,000 years, he proved to us that the Quran is a stupid story because the Quran confirmed that the Jews they worship a person, his name was Uzair. So how Muhammad he said the Jews they worship Uzair and he is the son of Allah according to the Quran yet the Muslim today they say for 4,000 years not a single Jew worship anyone beside God and if the Jews did not worship anything beside God so what the problem with the Jews Muslims why you call them Jews if you and them worship the same God so why you call them Jews and why you don't accept their Torah as long their Torah never mentions someone beside God. So what the problem? Stupidity. But as you see here, Muhammad, he mentioned that the Jews, they say Israel, this is not Israel, by the way, this is a, this is a false translation, it is Uzair. And we cannot find that name. So the Muslim, they try to find an equal name to it. They say, oh, we this is, must be Israel. Who is Israel? And who is the Jews who worship a guy, his name is Israel? And who is that? Where where we can find them? They are not exist. And why he is saying the Jews? Some Muslim translation or interpretation they say one Jew. There is one Jew. So one Jew he said that uh, Uzair is the son of Allah. So we say the Jews. That is the most stupid argument. When you say the Jews, it means all the Jews. 
Arabic is very clear the Jews they say all of them he did not say and if if this is not the teaching of the Jews why you call them Jews call them Jehovah's Witnesses maybe call them Mormon call them shish kebab why you call them Jews that because this is a fabricated story from a stupid man who do not know what he's talking about and then he is the son of God so the Quran confirmed that there's Jews who believe not in what Muhammad and the Muslims claim today they believe that there is God and there is a son of God and not only that the Christians believe in that the Christian they say the Messiah is the son of God hold on aren't you the one who said to me just in the previous verse that the Messiah is the Christian believe that the Messiah he is Allah himself and here we see again the stupid confusion between what Muhammad is talking about once he said that the Christ is is God according to the Christian as Allah himself not just as God as divine no as Allah himself As you see here <clears throat> Just to remind you chapter 5 verse number 17 They indeed have disbelieved they are kuffar those who say Allah is the Messiah So again the Quran is being stupid very confusion So now what we have we have verses in the Quran says that the Christian believe that Jesus is son of God we have verses in the Quran, it says, the son of Allah, sorry, not only the son of God, son of Allah. And we have verses saying that the Christian believe that the Messiah, he is himself Allah. And that is impossible. Because either he is the son of Allah or he is Allah. Which one Allah choose? Are we following guys? Which one of them is the truth? One verse saying that the Christian believe that the Messiah is the son of Allah. The other verse saying that the Messiah is Allah. So the author of the book himself is confused and he is being a funny stupid who took too much hashish. And neither of them is true. Why? First of all, we don't believe in Allah to call Messiah son of Allah. Secondly, we don't believe that the Messiah is the father if we say that Allah here is meant the father we don't believe that we believe in one God yes but we believe in three person God the father God the son God the Holy Spirit so we Christian we don't believe in what the Quran is saying so the Quran is talking about what and here we notice the stupidity of those who say for the first 300 years not a single Christian believe what they call them the, the Christian that the church father in the Trinity okay hold on we have in the year 600 we have a God who don't understand the Christian of Nikia which you say this is the created the Trinity and you Muslims you lie in your debate and you say that the King Constantine he forced everybody to believe in the Trinity which you today you say we have it okay where is the trinity we have it today in here the king constantine was long before muhammad and if you are saying that he forced everybody to believe in it but we don't see it in the quran that additional proof of the lies secondly christians christians not all of them they were controlled under the roman rome is not controlling the whole universe Christianity spread all over the earth. Ethiopia is one of the oldest churches. India is one of the oldest churches. Even they went to Persia. They went to Egypt. They went to Africa. They went to Morocco. So the Christian, they spread all over. And there is no way a king can control them because not everybody is under the authority of the Roman. What the Roman have to do with India? There is now a church in Karkala. I hope I'm saying the name correctly of the city. It's an Orthodox church established by Apostle uh, uh, Thomas himself. So how we can control those churches and how we can make them all agree in something false? That is impossible. So here we, we, we gave the base that Islam itself and the God of Islam himself and Muhammad himself do not understand the Trinity. 
and he proved himself that he is very confused and he cannot be God that alone is enough regardless of the Trinity of the Christian is it true or not what is written in the Quran is proven to us that this is cannot be God because God should understand what people believe in before he speak about them there is no way that Allah is God but yet he do not know a simple thing what the Christians believe in additional to that If we go in the Old Testament, <clears throat> you see when in John, and again, by the way, when the Muslim they say for the first 300 years, no church father, he mentioned the Trinity. And yet we see a stupid Abdul in the stage says that the book of John written more than 90 years after Jesus. Well, isn't that the, the even if this is true or not, regardless, is that when you say that for the first 300 years, nobody believed in the Trinity. So who's John? You idiot. How you say for the first 300 years, nobody believed in the Trinity. Then you say that John, his book written 90 years after Jesus. <laughs> what about Mark? He go on the stage and he says 60 years after Jesus. Is he from the church father or he is from what? If those are not the church father, so who is the church father? Are you getting my point, guys? If the one who wrote the four gospels are not to be considered the church father, so who are they the church father? Same time, if we go, we can find tons of reference about what the church father says about the Trinity. We have endless proofs of them. Proving to us that Muhammad is nothing but a liar. And I will show you something here. Give me a second. Let us see. I will show you in the screen. This is a website, you know, I did not make any effort actually to uh, to write anything, but this is a website, it's written in Arabic and in English. I will show you the English part. All those names we see are the church fathers who confirm the Trinity with the date and the reference. And yet they say to us, they say to us, there is nowhere it's mentioned by the early fathers of the church, the Trinity, but it's all over our early church's father books. As you see the reference. And you see, we are not the same as Muslims who make statement with no proofs. You see here the page number where it says that, where we can find it, where we can get it, where we can read it. We don't make a statement, have no base. So when the Muslim, they say, for the first 300 years, there's nobody mentioned the Trinity. It's a big fat lie. Actually, they don't even know where is the word Trinity is coming from. All those reference is about church and by the way those are not enough even like I mean this, this is not all of them This is just some the most important, but there is a lot more But I'm not going to spend the day just to show you reference about the early church father and the date when they mentioned in their books the Trinity before the meeting of Nikia before long before because if they are accusing that this is when the Trinity been reformed or exist, that to prove to us that this is a lie because those people are exist long before that. So the Muslims always they try to make you confused about the Trinity and they say to you is not exist. But today we will use a very easy method to show you how we can get them busted. 
as we see we are going to 100 pc 165 this is the period when the 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 the, the, the uh, saint justine he lived so we are going back and in, in, in date the 140 piece BC, uh, ad sorry so we we have names we have reference we have a church fathers very well known trustworthy and nobody can say we don't have anyone who mentioned the trinity that is a big fat lie don't ever listen to a muslim trying to teach you your belief a muslim himself he don't even know who is god just two days ago we asked a guy who called me about the trinity is allah is a spirit he said yes but the fact allah is not a spirit they do not know who is their god so how they can teach us who is our god so as you see the reference in, front, in front of us, endless reference of, of names of the church fathers long before Nikki a meeting, speaking about the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Trinity as we call it today as a word. So they lie to us when they say, for 300 years, not a single Christian speak about the Trinity. For 300 years, what a big fat liar like your prophet. Go and drink camel urine and stop taking hashish. So who are those names? So we can keep showing you, but I'm not going to do that more because we can get Islam busted from the beginning. If we go in the Bible here, we will find the following. <clears throat> When Jesus said, truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham, I am, or I was. This is not the church father saying that. That is Jesus. How Jesus can be exist before Abraham unless he is God? And how that can happen? And who is he, the person who is exists before Abraham? And even the Jews, they said to him, how you say such a thing? You are not even 50 years old. He said to them, confirming, truly I say to you, before Abraham, I am. And even Abraham, he saw my day. How Abraham, he saw his day? All of us, we knew that God, he appeared to Abraham. And how he appeared to him? He appeared to him, as the story in the Bible says, Three men they came to Abraham. Even here we see three men coming to Abraham, and the Lord speak to Abraham as a man. But before we go there, let us do this. The Muslim they say to you that the only one to speak about the Trinity is John, which is a big fat lie because we can find the Trinity in Mark, Luke, and all the all the four Gospels, but not only there, in the Old Testament. And let us go to the Old Testament, Genesis one. From the first pages of Genesis one, we found that the Bible confirmed the Trinity, proved Islam to be a false religion. How is that? Read carefully, William, please. And this is many translation. You choose the one you want. However, for us still we have the original, we go by it, and the perfect translation, uh, 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 you know, uh, can be judged by those who speak Hebrew. However, if we go to the uh, the Jewish Hebrew, uh, 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 like uh, not a translation, it still is saying the same, that in the beginning it was the word, the, in the beginning, uh, sorry, God, he created the heaven and the earth, and his spirit, of God, the Spirit of God was hovering over the water. So, from the first line in the Old Testament, the Muslims they say to us, if you read the whole Bible, you will not find where God is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The fact here we go from the first two verses, we find that God is the Father, and then His Spirit is hovering. Uh, uh, as we see in the front of us in verse number two. And by the way, here I'm using the translation. The Muslims, for some reason, they like this translation. I notice many of them, they ask for it, ESV. So here we have a clear evidence that the God of Islam cannot be our God. Why? Because the God of Islam has no spirit and he is not a spirit. 
so if our God is God and the Spirit in the same time that means our God is not Allah that's confirmed and that is the kill of the cult of Islam if the Muslims are debating us trying to say that the Bible says oh Israel your God is one and they say we agree with this verse then they have to agree that the one God is God and the Spirit that's mean there's two and yet they say to you that there is nowhere it says God is more than one you see when the Bible says God is one actually the Bible confirm unity not one as number but because a donkey tried to explain to you something he do not know like we heard this Mimi hijab saying Elijah mean God is with us suddenly he became a scholar in Hebrew and he go and he copy from the Bible and he says oh Israel your God is one but the fact the verse in the Bible says that God is one as a unity if we go in the Bible and this is here a website explain what Echad mean you will see that Echad coming as we see in Genesis chapter 2 verse number 24 it says the two shall become one Echad to what the men and the women so when the man and the women they get married they live together and they became Echad so Echad and I saw a guy his name to Riva singer he is a big fat liar he says Echad mean one does not mean two became one and I got him busted in my video here we go the verse in the front of you and you can go to any Jewish translation or any Jewish Bible and you will see that it's this is speaking about two person the first one is a male the second one is a female getting married and they became Echad and as you see here Echad is about unification unified is not about one as a as a number so here we have two person and this is what Echad present and we have tons of verses in front of us we can you know I can advise you read this uh, chapter here I mean this website have a uh, great examples and actually this is the same mention as it's mentioned in Genesis 24 is mentioned in Matthew 19 5 and, and, and Mark uh, 12 uh, 29 and all it always is appearing as the same as it is the two became one same here the father the son and the Holy Spirit is one God so from Genesis chapter 1 verse number 2 we prove that Allah cannot be our God which is extremely important to both of us Christians and Jews because the God of Islam is not a spirit and he has no spirit and we confirmed that in many videos before so the God of Islam cannot be our God secondly if we go here to Genesis if we go back you will see that how God he created things God said let there be light and there was light if you remember we mentioned to you that the Bible says that by him and for him everything was created by him and for him everything was created how by him and what does this have to do with this verse God is a creating by the word the word of God in the beginning it was the word and this is what John if we go to John 1 when John he says in the beginning it was the word and the word was with God and the word was God or the God so what is the beginning the beginning of what the beginning of all creation so God said let be light light was so when we say when the Bible says everything was created by him and for him the Bible is speaking about how the Messiah he is the Word of God the creating everything let be light that is the power of the Word of God so from the first three verses in the in the in the book of Genesis we notice right away that we have God the Father God the Spirit and God the Word and then if we continue we can find tons of reference about God and his spirit and God and the Son and etc but you know if I spend my day quoting a reference to the Abdul do you think the Abdul will agree with me anyway no why because the Abdul he decide 
not to accept just because he's a prophet he said so you know when the Muslims they agree that Mary she was a virgin is that because it, they are convinced is that because it makes sense if we go in the Quran and we ask the Muslims why the Quran says that Mary she was a virgin what the Muslim will say why she was a virgin they say it's a miracle from Allah but why God do not do miracles unless there is a reason everybody have a father and what the problem if Jesus he is just the same as the rest what is the purpose of this miracle in Islam there's no purpose because Muhammad was copying the Bible and the thief always he did not know what he's talking about so when Maryam if we go to the chapter of Mary you will see that Maryam became a pregnant and she never been or she never know a man and then you will see that God which is supposed to in this case here Allah he sent his spirit and his spirit appeared to her as a man and the Muslim here we says without fault which is stupid it doesn't say that it says I'm perfect man Bashar and Sawiyah not Bashar and without fault perfect man which mean a perfect man in the look in the shape and everything nothing is missing so the spirit of Allah supposedly but hold on Allah don't have a spirit the Muslim here they say this is Jibreel then uh, supposedly the spirit who became a man he said to her you are I came to you to the Lord and I'm going to announce to you that you will have a pure boy which actually in fact it is a holy son if you change the translator you will see the translation change actually pure boy is the same anyway because pure mean holy so in chapter 19 verse number 19 it says that I came to you to announce to thee the good news of a holy son who is the holy son Jesus why he is holy what make him holy and then when Mary she said to him well I you know uh, uh, and actually the translation here is very false in Arabic it says well I'm you know you know in Arabic uh, uh, you know like I mean this is a filthy language Mary according to the Quran she's saying and I, I am NOT a whore you see the Muslim here try to cover the stupidity and the and the savage language of the Quran it doesn't say and I am NOT unchaste it doesn't say that it says well I'm Bashar well I'm I was not a hooker but always they try to make the Quran look nicer and they choose a better words from Allah because obviously they are ashamed of Allah language and it's not suitable to say what well, Allah is saying and choosing such a language which is very savage and very disgusting but here you notice that the Messiah is a son of no man. So who is the one who made Mary Bretnet? The Muslim they say Allah. Well, the one who made my mother Bretnet is my father. Who is the one who made the mother of Mary Bretnet and the mother of Jesus Bretnet? According to Muslims, Allah. So who is his father? If Allah is God. And why Mary? She is the only woman in this whole universe. She gave birth to a child, have no father. What the point? The point is very simple. Muhammad he said, and every son of an Adam is a sinner. And the best of the sinners is the one who asks for forgiveness and repent. So Muhammad confirmed that you being the son of an Adam, you are a sinner. Jesus is not the son of Adam and that explain why Jesus is holy son 
as we saw in chapter 19 in front of us verse number 19 so the Quran confirmed to us that Jesus is holy and we showed you the verses where Muhammad is a sinner if you remember the Quran says to Muhammad that we forgive uh, uh, you know uh, 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 like Allah may Allah forgive your sin in the past and your sin to come so here we notice clearly that Muhammad is confirming something very important for us that the God of Islam confirm the holiness of Jesus and the God of Islam confirm that Muhammad is a big fat sinner so now what is missing the missing is to show the Muslims after we show them that their God cannot be our God because our God is a spirit and he is the father and he is the man how is that you see if we go in the Bible we see that God he says and God he created the image that the man in his image God created the man in his image okay well God created the man in his image we find the same in the hadith if you go in the hadith you will see Muhammad saying the following This is exactly what the Bible says. Muhammad is copying the Bible. As you see in the front of you, Muhammad he confirmed that the Bible is saying the truth. If we go to Genesis chapter 1, the same chapter we were reading from before. And we go down. Read really carefully. And you can read any translation you wish. And God said, let us. You see, the Muslim they say that the name of God always come like he says, I, I am, I am. But you see here, he's saying that us, let us make a man in our image after our likeness. And I'm showing the Muslim the translation which they like. So God created Adam. The man in our image that is the image of who God is not a man or God is a man so the Muslim they said to you there's no single verse in the Bible says that God is a man and Jesus is a man but the Bible confirmed that God he created Adam in his, our image that is the image of Christ we mentioned to you that Everything is created created by him and for him. That is the Messiah Here and God here said and let us make the man in our image after our likeness Here we see the word us here we see the word the image of Adam is the image of God which God that is the Messiah and then we find Muhammad who is a thief he said the following in his hadith and this is a sahih hadith Allah created Adam in his image you see actually this is exactly as it is in the Bible you believe it or not and this is again proven to us that Muhammad is a big thief he took it from the Old Testament and Allah created Adam in his picture do we see it
So everything in the Bible from the first chapter is saying that God speak about himself as a man or the image of a man. God speak about himself as the spirit. God speak about himself as the father. And yet the Muslim they say to us, not a single verse in the Bible is speaking about the Trinity. Shall I continue? Because we have tons and tons of reference. You see, uh, uh, you, you do not need to be a genius actually or to be a scholar in the Bible to know. I mean, you can do search and you will find tons of articles attacking the Trinity. And there is tons of article proving the Trinity. Now, at the end of the day, believing in what not to believe is your choice. But let us ask the question, what is the problem if God is one as a person or God as a three, as one God as a three person? What the problem? I mean, this is very silly because let me tell you what is what, what the Muslim try to say. When the Muslims, he, he, you know, he come to you and says, we worship one God, he think that he have a strong, like uh, a strong base. He can defeat the Christianity by saying, we believe in one, you do believe, you believe in three. The fact we are the one who believe in one, and it is not you who believe in one. And we can prove it easy. Because we believe in one God, you believe in one idiot. The God who he think that the sperm coming from the backbone cannot be God. He will go, you believe in one, but he's a one idiot. The one who think that the women have a sperm coming from her ribs, he is a one idiot, not one God. The one who think the thunder is an angel, he is a one idiot, not one God. The one who think that the, he do not even know which one he created first, the trees or, or the stars, is an idiot, not God. So you believe in one idiot, but yet you don't have God. You call him God, this is your business. Are we following? So instead of you trying to prove to the Christians to believe not in the Trinity, what about you explain to us how come you have one God, but he is the most stupid God ever? Have you ever heard of a God he think that the sun set in the murky water? And a prophet, he confirmed that? Here we go. You have a God, but he is an idiot. So. They spend their time, they try to convince you that the Christianity is false, but based on what? Based on the Quran and based on a stupid prophet? So now I have to believe the one who believed the sun set in the murky water and not to believe in the Bible because though obviously scientific is, this is scientific discovery. And yet the Muslim, they have thousands of videos saying that Quran have science. We have a guy, his name is Fahad. In the text, he says, you are a liar and we don't believe in liar. My friend, you are the liar. Let me tell you why. Guys, do you remember one, this, the Sheikh, Sheikh, uh, what his name, Abdul Wadud, he called me. And we got him busted when we asked him about Allah forcing Adam to commit sin. And then Allah, he punished Adam for the sin. What the sheikh, he said to me, he said, well, Allah, he did that. What we can do? Can you refuse Allah order? Your God, Allah, is the liar proven by Islam. What kind of God he forced Adam to commit sin and then he punished him for sin he did not do by choice. It's Allah, he forced him. So you believe in a liar, the deceiver. Allah in the Quran says that he is the best of deceivers. And this is why my book is called The Deception, Deception of Allah. So you want us to leave the amazing Messiah, which is according to Islam, he is not God, but he is in heaven. He is not God, but he is holy in chapter 19, verse 19. He is not God, but he is the word of God. He is not God, but he is born without a father. He is not God, but yet the Quran confirm who can forgive the sin as an example. If we ask the Muslims who can forgive the sin, do you know what they will say? Only Allah. Only who? 
only Allah okay nice to meet you as long you agree that only Allah can forgive sin then how you say to me show me where Jesus says I'm God worship me isn't it Jesus forgive sin And that is exist in Matthew and in Mark and you know so how you say to me only Allah forgives sin as you see in the screen and actually I can prove in the Quran from the Quran that Allah does not forgive sin and he is not the one in charge of forgiving sin why because if we go in the Quran, we will find that Allah, he says, when he spoke to Muhammad, may Allah forgive your sin. Have you ever heard of God? He says, maybe, me. While Allah in Mark 9, 9 uh, you can read it from 1 to 8 and Mark uh, uh, from 2 to uh, from 1 to 12. Uh, uh, Mark 2 from 1 to 12 you can see how Jesus forgiving sin Allah he says maybe This is the God of maybe And here the translation by the way is not accurate it says maybe as Allahu and Yafu as Allahu change the translator and you will see the stupidity of the Quran how it comes clear and shiny choose any any translator so these it may be Allah will burden them maybe who is the one is talking Allah well, why Allah is not sure He is sure or he is not sure? Hmm? All those verses in front of us, it says Allah maybe. And by the way, look how the translation is a false. Surely Allah is forgiving merciful. Okay, where is surely? How how you say surely in the translation and here it says maybe? Isn't it the same verse that says maybe Allah will forgive them? And then you say surely Allah. I mean, is it surely or maybe? And look what Muhammad here, because he's a scammer. Here we understand why he is saying maybe. He is saying maybe because if you pay Muhammad, Allah will forgive your sin. Which means Allah is Muhammad. So take from them their money and their property so you would clean them and purify them by what? By the money they give. And not only that, he was going to pray in their behalf. Have you ever heard of a God like this? So if we pay Allah, which means Muhammad, Muhammad is going to purify you or Allah purify you by the money you pay. You can bribe God in Islam because the God of Islam is Muhammad. So now it's not maybe no more. If you pay Allah, which means Muhammad, Muhammad, he will purify you for Allah and Muhammad is one. Perhaps, perhaps. But here, if you pay the money, perhaps it's not exist. Of their God, take of their goods, take on. So you you might provide them and and uh, and uh, sanctify them and pray in their behalf. Muhammad is the same as a like a like a like a you know a machine. You put some coins in the hole and he start doing the work in your behalf. You do not even need to pray no more. You just give him the money. And if you give him the money. Here we go. You are sanctified and you are pure right now.
now we are not done you see uh, I'm trying to make the video short people are asking me to make the video short but I don't know how to make it short I mean how in the world I can make a video short I have no idea you know what I mean I know many of you say to us make it make it short but how I can make it short this is a chapter 9 verse 103 Now, let us go to the Quran and love more. You see, I can keep posting, showing you verses from the Bible about Jesus being God all over, but I will show you an example. Like, you know, those verses from the Bible, like it, I, I just searched an article, you know, in front of me. All those articles speaking about Jesus, he is God, and the Trinity proven in front of us, and there is, you know, from the Old Testament, from the New Testament, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, look at this one, he says. For us, this is Isaiah 9 6. This is not the New Testament. This is Isaiah. For us, a child is born to us, a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder or in his shoulder, and he will be called Wonderful, Counsel, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. How he is a son born to us, and he is God. Any Muslim can uh, with with the, with you with the genuine Islam. So he is a child, born, and he will be called wonderful. And mighty God. And you say to us, there is nowhere in the Bible to speak about such a thing. So we have tons and tons of verses, but I'm not going to waste my time with the nation of Hummus. You know, the nation of Hummus, they have nothing except Hummus and too much gas. It doesn't matter how much you show them, you explain to them, still they will say, you said nothing, we heard nothing. Because according to their prophet, the, 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 the smart prophet, Shaitan piss in their ears. Is it Jesus says, me and the Father is one? And they say to you, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. Have you ever heard of somebody, he's a prophet of God, and says, me and God is one? And the one who saw me, he saw God? Can Muhammad say so? Yet you say to you, I challenge you, brother and sister, I challenge the Christian to find me one verse in the whole Bible. It said, the Hadith said, I am God, worship me. Are you? What do you mean he did not say that? He did not? Are you sure? You know, when the Messiah, he came to the Jews in Matthew chapter 22, and he said to the Jews, what do you say of the Messiah? What do you say of Christ? But as the Pharisees were assembled, Yeshua has asked them and said What are you saying about the Messiah? Who is son is he and look here the question guys look at the question The most time they say to you what Jesus said, right? This is Jesus is talking now. This is not my cousin This is not Apostle that is the Messiah himself He asked him about a specific thing who is son is he he did not ask them who is he he asking them who is son is he so what is the purpose of this conversation the messiah is speaking to the jews who they are rabbis about who is the son or who is the messiah to be the son of who like who is his father they said he is a son of David. He said to them, which means the Messiah, and how David, by the Spirit, by the Spirit, call him the Lord Jehovah, for he said, the Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, 
sit in my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet and he is quoting for them from the Old Testament exactly the quotation if therefore David called the Lord called him the Lord Jehovah so how is he his son and you will see the Jews they could not argue they he silenced them and no man could give him an answer and no man dared again from that day to question him so if the messiah is a son of david then how david him david call him jehovah and yet the abdul they say to you where jesus says i am god so the bible all of it speak about god the father god the spirit and god the son which is the messiah himself as you see and the messiah here is talking when jesus get baptism what happened the bible confirmed that the holy spirit appear in the shape of a, of a bird and we heard the voice saying this is my only begotten son so why you says to me why it says that and the same we can find all over the Old Testament. But I'm not going to play the game with the Muslims to show them verses after verses because already we show a lot. What about we go to the Quran? So we can show a clear evidence from the Quran. We showed you already the Quran saying that only Allah forgives sin. Why that authority is only for God in Islam? For a very simple reason. Because in order to forgive sin, you have to be first a person who knows everything and nobody can lie to you number two you have to be an absolute judge and just which means you cannot be a person who is a qualified to forgive sin unless you are absolute just so when we see that Jesus he forgives sin as we see in Mark uh, in Matthew sorry we can go to Matthew first Matthew chapter 9 verse uh, uh, 1 to 8 you will see that Jesus is forgiving sin and actually this is why the Jews they did not listen to Jesus as a person who he claimed to be a prophet they said to they said it clearly this person is making himself equal to God they did not say he is a person who is uh, saying things. They said it clearly that this person is claiming to be God. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the man clear up friend your sin are forgiven then some of the expert of Moses teaching which means rabbi he just said he just dishonored God because only God can do that what do you mean forgive sin Jesus knew what they were thinking they did not you see he did not like they are not talking loud he knew what they are thinking too he said to them why are you thinking evil things so you Muslims when you think down about Jesus you are doing evil is it easier to say your sin is are forgiven or to say get up and walk get up and walk the person cannot walk which one is easier talk is it cheap Anyone can say anything he want. I can say to you, your sin is forgiven. But I cannot make a man who cannot walk, walk. 
I cannot make the blind see. I cannot reject people from death. So which one is easier? But hold on. Isn't it the Quran says, and who can forgive sin save Allah? We mentioned to you that in order to forgive sin, you have to know the unseen. Do Jesus know the unseen? Absolutely. Even that is confirmed in the Quran. If we go in the Quran, we will find that the one who knows the unseen is supposedly Allah and supposedly should supposedly should be only Allah chapter 5 verse 09 it says it is though who knowest in full that is hiding actually it doesn't say in full it doesn't say what it says innaka anta allamul ghayyub it is you who know the unseen as simple as that funny translation now if we go we will find something uh, funny the Quran in chapter 5 verse 116 Jesus says supposedly to Allah you are the one who knows the unseen mm -hmm. but isn't it the Quran too says that Jesus can tell you the unseen when the Quran speak about Muhammad, look what happened. Chapter 6, verse number 50, it says, and chapter 7, 188. One, 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 uh, Read carefully with me. Say, I have no power over any good of or harm to myself except Allah with if he had knowledge of the unseen. Which what, what Muhammad is saying here? Well, I know nothing about the unseen, and if I know, I should have multiplied all goods. I will take a benefit of it. But I cannot do good to myself. I cannot do bad because simply I do not know the unseen. So Muhammad confirmed here in this verse. Actually, Allah supposedly confirm that Muhammad he know nothing about the unseen. Okay, hold on. How Muhammad, he do not know the unseen here? The people, they start asking him a question. You claim to be a prophet. What about this? What about that? He said to them, you know, to shut them up, because they are getting him busted. I know nothing. Don't ask me. I have no power, and I cannot even do good or harm to myself. If I have knowledge, of the unseen, I should take a take advantage of it. Muhammad confirmed that he is a hypocrite. If he have the knowledge of the unseen, he will take advantage. He's not decent, as you see. So Muhammad here he confirmed that no one knows the unseen save Allah, and he himself he do not know the unseen. But hold on, Jesus, he knew the unseen. And he can tell you what you hide in your houses. Let's see. In chapter 3, verse number 49, it says, Supposedly, the one is talking here is Allah. And then suddenly, the one is talking is the Messiah. Look where the Messiah supposedly starts talking. He says, I come into you, Lou, I come into you with the signs of your Lord. So Jesus, the Messiah in the Quran, he came with a sign supposedly from Allah, but Muhammad, he have no signs. Look what he do. He fashioned for you 
out of the clay in the likeness of a bird and I breathe into it the breathe is coming from where the breathe is coming from Jesus and by the breathe he gave the bird which is a mud shape a life Jesus in the Quran is a creator you see he did not say and Allah he breathed into him it says and I a breathe to him now the Muslim they say to you doesn't say there by the leave of Allah it doesn't matter by his leave or not it says I breathe it's not Allah breathing that means Jesus breathe create life and this is exactly how Allah created Adam supposedly in the Quran he made a fashion of, of, of mud and then he breathed into the mud and then Adam come to life and which is a contradiction for other verse in the Quran where it says that if Allah he wants something to be he says be and is going to be and he says the similarity between Adam and Isa is the same as Allah he says be and it was but the fact as you see Allah never create anything by be it is in the Bible only where God said let be light and light was in the Quran nowhere nothing created by be so Jesus he breathed and based in this verse Jesus is a creator now by the leave of Allah or not that will not change the fact that the Quran confirmed that now Jesus by the second he created that bird he is a creator so now we have two creators in Islam and by the way the word by leave it's funny because I can say now that Jesus he did that miracle by my leave Talk is cheap. If Allah can do, I why Allah cannot do what Jesus can do if Allah is God? Why the Quran witness that Jesus he can make the blind look? I heal him who is born blind. I I heal him who is born blind, not sick, and the leper, and I rise the good, the, the dead. And then again by Allah leave but that is just a claim same time it doesn't make any different by Allah leave or not that's mean Jesus have the ability because leave here is just a permission permission which means if you do it I am NOT going to be angry with you it's like Adam when God he said to him I did not give you permission to eat from the apple so Adam still he did eat from the apple even though he did not have Allah leave Are we following? But here we will arrive to what is really important And Jesus said to them and I announce into you What you eat and what you store up in your houses? Do you see it? But isn't it the Quran says only Allah knows the unseen? And isn't it Muhammad who says, I know nothing of the unseen? And if I know the unseen, I will take advantage of it? Jesus knows the unseen. Jesus created from the mother bird. Jesus made the blind see. Jesus can heal the leper. Jesus can tell you what you had in your house, what you are thinking. And this is exactly what we saw in the Bible when Jesus he said to them he knows what they are thinking you remember when he forgave the sin he knew what they are thinking so he said to them which one is easier to say yours you know uh, your sin is forgiven or go and walk why you are thinking evil He knew what they think and the Quran confirmed that Jesus he have a knowledge of what you think He have knowledge even what you did yesterday Or a year before he knew what you are the story in your houses as the Quran confirmed Why Allah if this is if this is by the leave of Allah why Allah even gave him that leave I Mean here we go. What is left for Jesus to be considered God? You just made him a creator. You just make him can heal the leper. You can make him heal the blind. You made him see the unseen. He knew what the people they store in their houses. And how in the world do you want me to believe that Jesus is just a prophet? In other way, if all those miracles are given by Allah to Jesus to make us believe that Jesus is a prophet, Allah, he was a stupid. 
because those miracles confirm something else to us and as you see the result we did not believe in Jesus as prophet we believe in him as God if Jesus cannot create from the mother bird the Quran confirm what the Bible confirm that by him and for him everything was created so if Jesus is not a creator if Jesus cannot bring people from death if Jesus cannot forgive sin if Jesus cannot heal the leper if Jesus cannot make the blind see if Jesus cannot tell you what you had in your house why in the world I want to believe that he's God are we following guys forget about the Abdul in the text focus with me please focus with me and learn the God of Islam is a stupid God proven to be an idiot official one certified idiot and yet the Muslim try to force or enforce such a stupid God on us actually the Quran have a verse which I like which is presenting to me Muhammad what verse is that in chapter 62 verse number 5 it says that the sim similitude of those who were in charge or the obligation of the Torah I say this is a stupid translation what in charge it says those who carry I mean the translators are really I don't know what what what's wrong with those people charge what charge it says those who carry look this one charge too unbelievable charge charge huh? I think they are copying from each other Look at this guy, interested. Interested? Oh, what interested? Let it go, let it go. I will let it go as interested. The likeness of those who were interested. Hmm? In, in the Quran, in Arabic, it says, Hummilu, those who they've been given the Torah to be carried. They carry it. Uh, and then he says, and they could not carry it. It's the same as a donkey who carry books in the top of him, but he do not understand it. And this is exactly what we see every day with the Muslims. Here the Quran trying to insult the Jews and the Quran claim that Muhammad, he is the one who understand the Torah. But as you see, Muhammad proved to us that he knew nothing about the Torah. Muhammad is a fairy tale collector from the Jews, like the flying carpet of Suleiman, the ant speaking to Suleiman. The hoodhood who disappear. And yet he is calling that those who carry the Torah, but yet they do not understand the Torah, are donkeys. But this is exactly what happened with the Muhammadan today. If we ask the Muslims what is what Ishmael mean they do not know what Abraham mean they do not know who is the father of Abraham the Quran says Azar which is false who is Mary they don't even know Mary is the daughter of Amran in the Quran who is Moses Moses is the brother of Mary in the Quran and his father is the same name of the father of Mary which is Amran according to the Quran but yet there's nothing is called Amran Mary father is not Amran who is Amran and even Moses father is not Amran Muhammad, he misquote the name of Muhammad of, of Musa's father between Umram and Umran. Abraham's father is not Azar. Who is Ishmael? They do not know. What the word uh, uh, Injil? They do not know. What the word Torah mean? They do not know. What the word Abraham mean? They do not know. What the word Musa's mean? They do not know. What the word Isa mean and where it's coming from? They do not know. Why? Because the whole book is a, is a, is a theft. Now, let us try one more thing. 
You see, I said to myself, I will make a video for 20 minutes. You are right. Because, you know, information keep coming one after one. I mean, I don't know how to stop. Okay. Let's make this one final. The Quran confirmed the Trinity word by word. In chapter 3, verse number 45, look what the Quran says. And look how the Muslim fabricate in the translation. Do you see what it says? It says, remember when the angels, O Maryam, verily gave you a glad tiding of a word, and then they put the word be, and it was. There is nothing such thing in the Quran here. This is a fabrication, i.e. Isa Jesus. This is a false thing. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It's a fabrication. Let's change the translator, and you will see how we will show you how they lie. Jesus, in this verse, is the word of Allah. Is Muhammad the word of Allah? No. Is Adam the word of Allah? No. And remember when the angel said, Mary, O oh Allah, gave thee a glad tiding of a word from him, who is his name, is the Messiah. Here, there is some people they read, but they don't understand. And there is some people who have a deep, let us say, they don't like to read the words just from outside. They go in depth in it. He is a glad tiding. That is the gospel. And he is a word from him. From who? From God. And look how the Muslims here, they make him, Allah, suddenly small, small him. But the fact this is from Allah, supposedly. So, he is a glad tiding. Why is a glad tiding? I mean, glad tiding to who? To Mary? Or to mankind? Is Muhammad a glad tiding? No. Is Moses? No. Is Abraham? No. Only the Messiah is a glad tiding, glad news, the gospel, which is the word from him. But look, look. Who is name is the Messiah? Do you see the word here? It says is. Guys, yeah, do you see the word is? What is mean? What is mean? Mean is exist, right? He's exist already. Okay. How he is not exist, but he is. Uh, are you following with me? He is who? He is the Messiah. So he was the Messiah before he was born. And not only that, he is a word coming from above, from heaven. All of us, we are not from above. Jesus is from above. And this is in total agreement when Jesus said, I am from above. Did he say that or I'm making things up? If you go to John, and actually this is appear in many places, you know, you will see that Jesus said to them, you are from below and I am from above. And you can read any translation you wish. You are from this world. I am not. <laughs> the Quran confirm in chapter 3, verse number 45, that Jesus is from above and we are from below. And he is the word of God who was sent down to Mary. 
in the top of that he is the good news and his name is the Messiah before he was born who his name is the Messiah not his name will be and this is exactly what it says in Arabic it doesn't say he is a word from him he will be it says he is a word from him his name is his name is but Mary she don't have a baby yet how his name is if this is about a person he is not exist yet then we should say his name will be are we following but the Messiah is his existence have nothing to do with his birth this is why the Muslims silly uh, from because of their silliness they say to you oh when the Messiah was not born where was the Trinity the Trinity have nothing to do with the birth of the Messiah this is why he said before Abraham I am so here's the Messiah before his birth and the Quran confirmed that unless you want to say to me that the Quran is lying and the Quran confirmed that he is a word from God which means he's sending down he is he is coming from heaven while we are in earth you see all the children of Adam they are coming from Adam except Jesus he is not from Adam he is a word sent down the Quran says that the similarity between Adam and Jesus that is the same but this is stupid to say why if we go in the Quran we read this In chapter 3 verse number 59 it says the likeness of Jesus with Allah is as the likeness of Adam he created him of dust and then he said to him be and he was but look how stupid this God is did Allah created Adam same as he created Jesus you just said to us he was a word of God and he was given to Mary there's no dust involved Adam was created from dust. Yes, Jesus is a word. You just said that. You just said that he is a word sent down to Mary. From where? From heaven. So how you say in the other verse is the same similarity, the likeness, and in the top of that, the the maker of the Quran he could not stop from being funny and silly. He said. He said to him, "Be," and he was. But as you see. There is nowhere Allah he said to Adam be and he was Allah he created Adam from mud And then he breathed into the mud and Then after that it took time To Adam to be created he did not say be there is nothing in the process You can read the Quran in front of us if there's a Muslim you don't agree I, you know who we go we have the Quran in front of us Chapter 38, verse number 71, it says, When the Lord said to the angels, See, I am a creating a mortal of a clay, of a clay. He did not say me. And then when I have shaved him, fashioned him, and then I breathe into him my spirit. Do you see it? He did not say me. This is a stupid statement. It's a contradiction. Only the God of the Christians and the Jews said be if we go in the book of Genesis you go to verse number one you will see and verse number two you will see is that God he says let be light and light was from the beginning read verse number one number two number three so God he created the earth and God he said let be light 
and this is verse number three as you see let be light and light was nowhere in the whole Quran Allah created anything by saying be this is a contradiction yet I did not arrive to the verse I want to quote for you and supposedly I will close with it you believe it <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to close this <laughs> all right uh, <clears throat> If we go here in the Bible, we see something very important. Proving to us that the Quran or the maker of the Quran is extremely officially stupid. The same verse which is denying the Trinity is the same verse confirm the Trinity. This is chapter 4, verse number 171. Read carefully with me, all Muslims, and laugh with me at what you call a holy book. If this is a holy book, I don't know what is holy stupid. O oh, people of the scriptures, do not exaggerate in your religion, nor alter ought concerning Allah save the truth the Messiah Jesus the Messiah Jesus if somebody complained he said what I'm choosing my what, what translation you want what translation you want you don't like this one what translation what is the most famous one you wanted the, the idiot Yusuf Ali Oh, no problem. Oh, people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion. Nor say of Allah aught but the truth. Christ, Jesus, and by the way, the Quran never mentioned the word Jesus. They mentioned the word Isa. We do not know who is Isa. The son of Mary was, and here between two brackets, no more than, which means it's not exist. But we will let it go. This is not exist in the Quran, remember. The one between two bracket is not there. This is supposed to explain to explain to you. All right. A messenger of Allah and his word, word of, of Allah, which he bestowed, bestowed. What does that mean? In Arabic, it says al qaha which means he sent down. He sent down. So it confirmed that this word is coming from above. I will make the word bestowed in different color. Let us make it uh, blue. So he is a messenger, he is a man, and he is a word which is sent down to Mary, and he is a spirit proceeding from him. And here, the proof of the Trinity. They say to you, how you can be one, but you are three. Jesus is the word of God. Read carefully with me, Muslims. Oh, I forgot. Maybe you do not know how to read like your prophet. He is the word of God. This is number one. And he is a man. Is a messenger and then he is a spirit proceeding from God proceeding from him God proceeding ing three in one and yet you say to me in the same verse say no Trinity the same verse saying to me don't say Trinity Christians but the same verse confirmed the Trinity. God, according to the Quran, not according to us as a Christian, by the way, we are just explaining the Quran. 
according to the Quran, the God of Islam saying that Jesus is the following. He is a word of God. He is in the flesh. He's a man, but yet he's a word. But yet he's a spirit, three in one. Yet he says to us, say no trinity. Have you ever heard of a stupidity more than this? Don't say Trinity, but he just did say Trinity. Jesus is a three in one. Jesus alone is three in one. And before we finish, isn't it the Quran start with the Trinity? What is the first verse in the Quran? The first verse in the name of Allah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. I challenge the Muslims to say to us why Allah He chose to present Himself to you in three. Here we go. You are Allah is anti Trinity, He don't like Trinity, Trinity is wrong. What's wrong with saying in the name of Allah and that's it? Why why what describe Allah to you is a three? Why the names of Allah is 99, which is the multiply of the age of Jesus X3? You're a prophet, he do everything in his life by the number three. Prayer in Islam is not accepted unless they do the ablution act and action i'm talking about the physical act three times like your ears your nose your hands you have to wipe them three times each time you do something you have to do it three times muhammad when he say assalamu alaikum he didn't say it once he said three times muhammad when he when to uh, explain something he repeated three times you take an oath you have to say it three times everything in islam is three times mary she was muted for three days Zachariah, or she fast for him talking for three days. Zachariah, Allah, he, he muted him for three days, a sign from Allah. A divorce in Islam is a final and no return after it if it is three times. Everything in Islam is based on number three. Allah Himself, He presents Himself to you in the name of Allah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, which means the perfection. Of God in Islam is in three. Otherwise, I change the Muslims. What is the necessity and why the number three appear all over in Islam? Why my prayer is not accepted unless I wash my hand three times? What about two times? What about four? Hmm? My ears, my nose, my mouth. Why three times? I will be cleaner what about I make it four time that would make it even cleaner no you cannot you have to do it only three times why if we type the word three time in the hadith what we will find we will find that everything in the cult of Islam it's based on number three even when Muhammad he pray he supplicated three times when he perform wudu, which means ablution, he do it. He do each limp three times. Do you see it? I saw Ali performing ablution. He washed his hand three times. He rinsed his nose at three, his mouth three times, and his nose at three times, and he washed his face three times, and each form well, three times. And look, what's wrong with you? I thought the Trinity is belonging to the Christians, but yet you Muslims, you practice the Trinity, you live by it, and your prayer is not accepted, and you are not pure to pray to Allah unless you do things at three times, which means the perfection of a purity in Islam is based on number three. If you do it for time, it's not accepted. You cannot go and pray. You have to do it three times only. If you do it twice, not accepted. If you do it once, not accepted.
So what we notice here that they lie to us and they say that Islam is against the Trinity when all of Islam is based on the number three. What Islam is about? Allah, Allah, and Jibreel and Muhammad. Three person. As simple as that. If there's no Jibreel, there's no Islam. If there's no Muhammad, there's no Islam. If there's no Allah, there's no Islam. The three musketeers. And as you see in the front of you, we are not fabricating things. It's in the front of you. Everything in this cult is based on number three. And we change the Muslim to say why? Why? Why your Allah, he made it based on number three, the perfection of being pure, the perfection of, uh, of divorce, the perfection of fasting, the perfection of taking an oath, everything. When Jibreel, he came to Muhammad, anyone remember? Anyone remember what happened? How many times the angel, he squeezed Muhammad? I guess you know already, even if you are first time here. When the angel came to Muhammad, he squeezed him three times. Why three times? I mean, what's wrong with you? Even a guy and the angel is squeezing him, he squeezed him three times. What about once, twice, four, five? Why three? And he stopped. And he said to him, as you see, the angel, he came to me, and then he asked me to read the prophet i replied i do not know how to read the angel cut me forcefully and pressed me so hard so i could not bear it no more almost killed him and then he released me and he said to me read and he repeated the same act three times so the beginning of islam is based on number three the first day first thing happened to muhammad happened three times do you see it? So when the Muslims reject the Trinity, it's not because the Trinity is not convincing, but because just Muhammad, he said, don't believe in it. This is why you will not see a Muslim debating you about Mary being a virgin. Why do they believe it? Because the Quran says Mary was virgin. Otherwise, they will make fun of you. They would say stupid Christians, you believe Mary was virgin. Ha 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 ha. Just because the Quran says so, they believe in it. If the story of the flying carpet and the ant speaking and the, the seven sleepers and the, their dog is, is exist in the Bible, the Muslim will be making fun of you. Just because it is in the Quran, they believe it's holy and true. So, when the Muslims, they speak about the Trinity, they are opposing it not because it is convincing or not, just because they are Muslims. As simple as that. And then when we ask them, who is Allah, they do not know. And here we go. I'm going to open my Skype. Only Muslims can call me. Just to give you a chance, Muslims, to call me and tell me who is Allah. And you will see not even one of them he knew or oh, what they said to you is the creator But we showed you the Quran says that Allah even the best of the creators. There's many creators Jesus himself is a creator They do not know They do not know who is their God yet they want to school you about your God So why you want to listen to somebody he himself is confused about his own God and yet you think he can teach you about your God Not a single Muslim knows who is Allah. For how many years I do what I do? I never saw one of them knows. If you remember my debate with Dr. Barikli, he said, and I quote him letter by letter, he says, no one knows who is Allah. You can go and listen to it. 
the head of the Islamic Center of Tennessee. No one knows who is Allah. This is what the Muslim they said to me. No one knows. So you are asking me to believe in one person. You yourself, you do not know who is he. No one knows. We have a Muslim, I think he's trying to call. Let us see. Hello? Hello? Yes, Abdul. You made a number of false claims that I wanted to address. Mm, like what? I hope you can let me address them and we can have a polite discussion. We cannot have a polite discussion with Muslim. I never saw a Muslim is polite. Since, since, since when you are polite? Aren't you the one who said to me, Allah is a spirit? Last time you called me? No. What do you mean no? Do you want a discussion or not? What do you mean no? Why you are you lying? Let's have a discussion. No, no. Why you are saying no? Aren't you the one who said to me that Allah is a spirit last time you called me? No. You want me to play your video? You can play it. Yeah, you can play it. it, it, it just get lost. I don't I don't talk to people who they are liar. It's there. It's just two I days ago. It's I just think two, you're afraid. It's just, two, it's just two days ago. You You've are a liar. A you are a liar and you admit and you say it. And, 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 and you say it and you say it. I made a mistake. Do you want me to play it? First line do you want me to play it? Do you want me to play it? You, I, you don't even know what I, the Trinity listen, is. Listen, listen. You don't even know what the Trinity no is. Problem, no problem. No problem. You can say whatever you want. You can say whatever you want. Why you are lying? You do not know even who is your God. Your you've God. Gone against the let me ask you again. Is your God Allah is a spirit or not? No, no. You've gone against the Athanasian Creed. I'm asking you. And you're lying. I'm you're asking lying, you. And you're lying. And you're lying. Let us see who's lying. Is your God Allah? Are you going to talk like crazy or we will talk now? Let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. Okay. Is your God Allah is a spirit? No. He's not. No. Okay. If we go to the book of Genesis, verse number one and two, can you read for us? I thought you wanted to discuss the Trinity. We are what talking about the Trinity. We are talking about the Trinity. Genesis one. Verses number one and two. Cool. Hmm. In the beginning, God created the heavens and earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Thank you. So here, we confirm that God and His Spirit. Do you agree that God has a Spirit, yes or no? Yes. Okay, how come your God does not have a Spirit? And you are the one who just confirmed that to me a second ago. Do you think these are two persons? Is the spirit a this is person? this is not the question now. I'm asking you, what kind of God? Why you Muslims you lie to us? You say that our God is the same as the God of Moses, and you are calling me to debate me about what is written in the Old Testament. Yet the Old Testament give you a kill. It killed your religion. You Muslims, your God is not a spirit. The God of the Jews has a spirit, and he is a spirit. So why you Muslims you lie and you say I am going to explain to you the Trinity from the Old Testament when you do not even understand your God nature which you self yourself you said to me two days ago that your God Allah is not a spirit and after I spanked you you agreed that Allah is a person who have no spirit so how dare you. How you said, dare you, you? You wanted to, to quote the Old Testament. Yes, I'm quoting the Old Testament now. Did you? In the Old Testament it says God is not a man. Ab you agree? Abdul, no, it's 23, no, he didn't, no, you it doesn't. No, it doesn't say that. It says God is not a man who lie, and you are a liar oh. again. It says you God are, is not a man or a son of man. Yes, uh, that, that's true. Jesus, is, a son of Jesus man. is not the son of man. He was calling himself such a name because he is in the flesh. But Jesus is a son. Hold on, hold on. You, you, you just you just confess yourself that you are stupid. Isn't it no, the no, Quran? No. Isn't it the Quran says that Jesus is not the son of any man? Yeah, yeah, he's not the son of man. Okay, so Jesus is not the son of man. So why you are lying? The Bible confirmed that Mary she was a virgin, and Jesus, when he said the son of man, he meant himself that he is in the flesh of a man, but he is a son of no man, and you know that. So you are lying and you are being hypocrite. Now we go back yeah. to zero. Hold on. 
when you said to me two days ago that I'll shut up we, we, are, we are talking I'm down when you said to me when you said when you said to me hold on when you said to me oh blah 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 when you said to me two days ago that your God Allah is not a spirit is that because you are a foolish or because you are a donkey I want an answer First of all, let's discuss the Trinity. We are discussing that, but I want to know first what kind of a person who discuss before, the Trinity do not it, know what kind of a person. No, oh, no, hold on. I'm going. I'm going to play. I'm going to play you your video. I'm going to play your. Shut up! You see, you are trying to you run don't, away. You we, don't even know we what have, the Trinity. Is. No, I am the one who knows the Trinity. It's, it is your God. That, okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you what the Trinity is. What's the Trinity? Yes. What is the Trinity? The doctrine of Trinity basically states that there's one God mm. manifest in three co equal co eternal persons, mm. and these three are one. Okay, so does the Trinity say that the Messiah is the Father? No. Okay, so why Allah is saying that? Where? Where in the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 72. What kind of God, as long as you understand the Trinity? Let us call you Allah and we call we call Allah by your name because obviously you understand the Trinity better than Allah What kind of God he think that the Christians believe that the Messiah is Allah? You do believe that uh, Don't change the topic. God. Don't change the topic. Why Allah? Why Allah caught in the wrong Trinity? Do you have an answer for that or we should call a neighbor? What kind of God he do not understand the Trinity, but yet you are not a God but yet you understand the Trinity, which means you are smarter than Allah. How Allah in the Quran, in verse number 72, verse number, chapter number 5 says, Allah is the Christ. This is what the Christians, they say. I can explain that. Explain, go ahead. First of all, the Quran, it mentions the Trinity. Are you on a, you're on about when it says um, that the Messiah is God? Abdul, don't change the topic. Allah is the, the Christ. Topic. Allah is the Christ. It's not about being God. It is yeah, Allah you believe, is the you Christ. believe that the Son is fully God? This is not the question. We, we are, you see, I just asked you, what is the Trinity? You said to me that the Trinity is three person. The first, the first person is the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, right? So three person, and they are, the Messiah is not the Father. The Father is not the Son, correct? So Allah here is saying, that the Trinity for the Christians, they believe that the Father is a Christ. Because when he that's say Allah is a Christ, that's mean if we replace Allah with the Father, that means he is saying Allah and the Christ is one as no, one no, God. Because you also made a similar claim about uh, Mary, and you said that was the Trinity, but you know as well as I do. That wasn't talking about the Trinity. <laughs> don't, don't change topic. Why Allah, he made a mistake. He says that the Christian, they say, they believe that Allah is the Christ. Is that being a stupid mistake from him? Yeah, that's what you believe. You believe the sun is God. You see, you don't want to talk about it, right? Okay, get lost. You don't want to talk about it. We play games. You, you, want, to play, you, want, to, you want to play games or not? You want to play games? Answer the I question. Why Allah that. is not getting the correct Trinity? Either you, you want to answer or you want to play games. I have no time for games. Are you going to answer? He explains the Trinity perfectly. There we go. You that get lost. You see, I give you a chance to be a man, but you are a donkey. If your God Himself could not understand the Trinity, how you can explain it to us? And you are a donkey. I want somebody to give me the the, the video, guys. Anyone remember which when he called me last time? If somebody have it, give it to me. Isn't it this donkey liar? He said to me now. I did not say to you that Allah is a spirit. Is it recorded? You you coward. It is recorded. I mean, you Muslims have no shame. Allah is not a spirit. And now he confirmed. We ask him, does it say that God is a spirit in the Bible? He said yes. So how you say how you lie? You say our God is the same as your God. And how you say the Trinity does not exist because God the Father and here we have a spirit. So now we have two, at least two. And then we see in the same chapter, God, he said, let be light. He created by the word. And that is the Messiah. This is why John verse number one, it says in the beginning, it was the word and the word was with God and the word was the God. So let us make it clear. The Muslims confirm to us that their God have nothing to do with our God. He is not a spirit. Our God is spirit. That's why we call him 
the Holy Spirit their God is a physical being he is a physical being not he took a shape of a physical being he is a statues is an idol when they say to us he don't sleep he don't eat that is explained now because he is a physical being so you don't understand the Trinity you are right and you are the one who understand the Trinity you do not even know who is your God if somebody have the video can search for it so we can play this guy and actually maybe one of you can later can cut them and post them together you know, I'm sure some of you will do that. So everybody will laugh at them at this Abdul, specifically this Abdul, who said to me from his mouth that his God is not a spirit. And then he called me again, and we got him busted. And I played the video again. The same guy, I played the video for him. I mean, they are really have no shame. <laughs> They do not know, their God don't know, and their God is the idiot of the village. And by the way, our differences with Islam is not about the Trinity. It's not. As you see, their God is a, is a, is a certified donkey. If I quote for you the mistakes and the errors of the Quran, it is beyond imagination. It's beyond stupidity. Actually, if I call Allah stupid, the stupid people will sue me because they will say this is not fair. It is an insult to stupidity. So they spend their day to attack the Trinity, but they don't want to spend their day saying, why our God is stupid? Why our God, he think that the mountains was placed in the top of the earth? Why our God, he think that the hail was sent down from mountains in heaven? Huh? Mountains in heaven. Is that right? And he sent down from the sky mountain mass cloud wherein wherein is hail. You see, guys, here they put the word cloud, false translation. They put it between two brackets to fix it. It doesn't say that. In the heaven, it says, And he sent it from the sky, not from the cloud. From the sky, from mountain in it. If we change the translator, you will see how the translation changed. It's a miracle. Oh, you know what? Let us go and see the, the interpretation. So the Muslim, they will say, oh, he is giving a false interpretation, right? Let us see the interpretation. Hold on. And again, <clears throat> let us close some pages. And let us love together this is the God they want to prove to us that he is God and your Trinity is wrong but their God is a stupid to the point even he do not know even how the rain is made and how the hill is made read carefully with me and he sent down from the heaven out of the mountains and he write it here in Arabic min jibalin min is extra that there are in the heaven mountains so Allah he sent hail from mountains which is there 
let us change the interpretation maybe this guy is a donkey let us see different donkey maybe the other one will be less smaller donkey read carefully with me and by the way the first child here the first is stupid too but this one it might confuse you about what he's saying so let's go to the one is easier he sent down from the heaven mountain wherein is hail do you see it the God of Islam who is one God he do not know where hail and what hail he think hail is important for mountains in there so Allah he go to those mountains and he break them and he throw it at us true story and this is the one God you want want me to believe that he's God I'm really convinced I mean who can deny that verse number 45 the Quran confirmed to us that the Quran is dictionary, like what is called discovery channel. Look at the science and the knowledge. And Allah has created every animal from water. Of them, there are some that you see here the translation is false. It says a creep. It doesn't say creep, it says walk. And they made it a creep because it's a mistake in Arabic. In Arabic, it says yamshi. Yamshi mean walk. He should say yazhaf. Because when you say on his bellies, you should use the word yes, have not walk. But it is love. So Allah created animals, all animals are from water. Of them are some that creep, actually, it doesn't say that, as we said, it's walk on their bellies. And some they walk in two legs. And some they walk in four. That's it. I mean, this is all the animals we have. Some they walk in their belly. And some they walk in two legs and some they walk in four are we done your God Allah he never heard of uh, spiders he never heard of ants he never heard of uh, what those uh, insects they have uh, like uh, God knows how many legs I mean that's it all of them either they walk in their belly or they have two legs or four legs that's it this is what Allah he created hmm? in different verse in the Quran Allah he says more wise stuff he said that Allah is the one who created the mule are you sure And the funny, he said that Allah created from everything, male and female. And it is he, Allah, who created for you the horses and the mules and the donkeys. Well, nice to meet you. As I know that Mr. Mule is the fruit of one night stand between Mr. Horse and Mrs. Donkey. How Allah, he says, he created the mule. Isn't it Allah, he says, we created from everything, male and female? You did not create the mule. The mule is you. All in front of us is a joke. Any verse you choose. Look at this. And he has set up on earth mountains standing firm. He set on the earth. In Arabic, actually, it says, Alqa fil ardi rawasi. He throw mountains on the earth. According to Allah, he throw mountains on the earth because the earth is like a carpet, so the earth will not shake. 
the fact where we have mountains the most they have articles about that they say according to science mountain they help to stabilize the earth abdul look what the verse is saying allah he put the mountains so they will not shake in fact whereas mountains the earth is more shaking this is the opposite because mountains is created because of a pressure of the tectonic place or be or because of the magma and it is coming from down the earth not from somebody place it in the top of the earth chapter 16 verse number 15 with the see the interpretation so the muslim will not say i'm making things up 16 15 here we go science this is a pure science my friend And Allah has cast uh, into the earth. Do you see it? It says cast. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Have you ever heard of such a stupid thing? Allah, he confirmed that he placed mountains in the top of the earth. Are you sure? What about how Allah created the baby? You want to see how Allah created the baby? Let me show you the science of Allah. So Allah is one, but Allah is a one idiot. One what? I mean, who cares if your God Allah is one or three or five or seven? It doesn't matter how many he is. At the end of the day, this is cannot be God. Read with me on love. This is a chapter 86, verse number six and seven. So let the man see from what he is created this is alerting the man to the weakness of his origin from which he was created and the intent of the guide of the man, blah, blah, blah. And then he says, He is created from water gushing forth, meaning the sexual fluid that comes out bursting forth from the man and the woman. Thus the child is a proceed from both of them by the permission of Allah that sounds like okay and then now let us see but it says sexual fluid the baby is created from a woman sexual fluid uh-huh what is that let us see proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women according to the God of Islam women they have sexual fluid coming from their backbone Sorry, uh, from, from their ribs. Specifically, actually, in Arabic, here, you see the Muslims, they did not uh, translate everything. In Arabic, it says, the location of the necklace. So, according to the Quran, women, she have a sperm, and her sperm is coming from the location of the necklace, the location where the women, she put her necklace. You know, if you are wearing a short necklace, like you have, the, if you put your finger down your neck, and the, the, the second it touched the... the the bones there that is exactly where the sperm of the women is coming according to Allah and not only that according to Allah that the man have a sperm too but it's coming from his backbone well nice to meet you so your God Allah is one but he is a one idiot So you try to prove to me that we are wrong about the Trinity, but you believe in one idiot? You see, the, the idea of one God, it is, it's not really what makes me believe in God. I mean, yes, we believe in one God, but what if God is 10 gods? What if he is 100? What if there is 1,000? That's it, there, are, there is 1,000 then. It's not a choice we choose to make God the way we want. 
if God he said to us this is how I am that's it this is how I am what if God he said to me I am 1,000 God can I reject if he if this, the, the question is if the 1,000 God is a true God or not who care if it's one or two or five or who care what we care for is how truthful what you claim so here we go we have a God but he do not know a very simple basic th stuff and he claimed that you have a sperm coming from the backbone so what is the testicles for Oh, I maybe the testicles is just only if uh, if somebody want to fight with you he will hold you from there and you he will get you down this is the whole purpose of it backbone is that where the song coming from backbone backbone what you gonna do what you gonna do when I come for you Backbone, backbone. Well, nice to meet you, backbone. And this is why now, actually, you see, I'm, I'm sitting for many hours. I'm afraid that my backbone now have something wrong with it. Uh, you know, I think I don't think I'm going to have babies anymore. I'm sitting in my chairs for how many hours? Oh boy. And then, I mean, you you name for me one place in this stupid Quran. It's not funny. Look at this. And proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman, it is a fluid, is yellow and fine in texture. Muhammad is very expert. He is the one who said that. Muhammad, he said the fluid of the women which make the baby is yellow. Somebody uh, uh, said to me, I, I'm not expert really, I'm not a doctor, said to me that if, if women have yellow in their private part, which Muhammad described as a sexual fluid, that means they have infection. That's not normal. So look like all my wife, all the women Muhammad he slept with, they are infected. So it's a sexual fluid, which is the women of the women is yellow and thin, and of the man is white and thick, which the baby will not be born without them. Muhammad in different hadith, he confirmed that God is speaking to him. For sure he does. So Muhammad said the following. The Messenger of Allah. Let us zoom in so you guys can see better. Said, the man's water is thick and white, and the women's water is thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. And if this is why, if any lady one day accept to marry me, you don't need to worry no more about your son will look like me, which is disgusting. I will not have orgasm first, and that will make the baby look like you. But that means we will have only girls. No boys. But at least we found a solution. You know, you don't want to have a son look like me. I mean, if you look like me, you don't want to have a son look like you. I mean, like me. That's disgusting. That, that's not acceptable. This is a prophet of God, and this is the God who want to teach me about the the, the prophet who who been taught this by God. He want to teach me about the Trinity. The prophet who think that the Jews are rats. Allah, Allah he cursed them. And by the way, this is proven to be scientifically true. And we made a video about it just two days ago. You can go and watch it. By the way, that video, the reason I was upset that, you know, we did not have like uh, right away uh, 15, 16,000, because this video is priceless. I want people to go back and watch it, please, if you did not watch it. It is very funny. You, it is the best comedy you can have, and there is no way anyone will watch it. He will believe in Islam for a second. 
this is why we encourage you all of you to watch it download it share it post it as you wish so my friend when somebody want to teach you something at least he should be a teacher not an idiot when somebody brings somebody to me and he says to me this is God worship him he should be qualified at least to be I mean a person with the knowledge of high school Allah don't have a knowledge of a donkey and just to show you how Muhammad he don't even respect the man brain he don't respect his people imagine Muhammad he order his uh, 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 Muslim women to give their breast to strangers and the excuse is the husband is jealous What the husband is what? Look what Aisha she used to do because Muhammad he ordered Muslim women, they cannot, you know, he ordered them to give their boobs excuse my language anyone he is a stranger when I enter the house he should suck your nipples and suck your breast literally in ten different days and each time he have to do it until he is satisfied not only no no he have to sit in your lap and keep sucking suckling until he cannot take it no more and then he come the second day and then he come the third day and then he come the fourth day he have to take it it's ten time in ten days and then Aisha, look what she did. Aisha, she is following the prophet order. Anyone when I enter upon her, he have to go and nurse from her sisters or her nieces. Have you ever heard of this? Imagine we want to go and meet a Trump. And the wife of a Trump, she sit in the White House office outside. Oh, hold on. We want to meet the wife of Trump, not Trump. We want to meet the wife of a Trump and then the wife of Trump she ordered her sister or the daughter of a Trump to sit uh, Ivanka to sit outside and she will give her breast to anyone when I enter about to, to, to see the wife of, of, of the president why because it's haram he have to suck her breast but because she is the wife of the prophet she cannot do that so what she do she order her sisters and the daughters of her sister to nurse men then she is not nursing babies she is nursing men adult they have to suck the breast of the sisters of Aisha before they can go in the office and meet Aisha I am sure many of the men they are wishing they now they are thinking to go and visit some Muslims but Muslims don't practice this no more because they're ashamed of it so this is the one you want me to to believe in him as his God we mentioned that already uh, about Mary they think that Mary is so so anyway my friend when a Muslim he speak to you about one God two God I mean who care first of all we are the one who believe in one God we don't believe in three and if God he present himself in that way God he is in that way you don't like it don't believe in it when a Muslim he come to us and say we believe in one God but obviously this God cannot be God he have no ethic as you see what kind of God he ordered Muslim women to wear burqa but yet they can give their boobs to strangers there's an Egyptian host in TV she was speaking to a sheikh from Al-Azhar and he said so she said to him so are you saying to me now everyone who work with me here in the studio I have to suckle him he said absolutely this is why I applied to work in that studio but they did not accept me
you have one God Muslims or you have two that will not change the fact that your God is false for everybody is laughing at what you call God teaching your God he know nothing about the creation he know nothing about the earth he know nothing about the sky your God he think the Sun set in the murky water which is it true by the way I saw it once sitting in murky water so I hope today I answer the one who sent me a message in Facebook and sorry in uh, in Skype but don't bother me with the stupidity of the Abdul a Muslim he believe in the Trinity or not we don't care I don't care really if you believe in the Trinity or not what I care for how funny is your cult and re remember here when a Muslim he debate us about Jesus of being God or not that is a proof how good Jesus is you know what I'm saying we are debating about Muhammad as a child molester while we are debating if Jesus is God or not <laughs> do, do you understand what I'm saying the Muslim he don't accept Jesus to be God but do you ask yourself even why we have that topic Jesus is so good even in Islam he is right now in heaven he will come in the judgment day when Satan he sees Jesus according to Muhammad he will melt like salt Jesus the Messiah in the Quran is holy in chapter 19 verse number 19 he is the Word of God in chapter 3 he is the Word of God in chapter 4 he is now, he is and now actually even Muhammad, he called him a Ruhullah, which means all oh, the spirit of Allah. Everybody die except Jesus, according to Islam. He is in heaven. Muhammad is routing in the grave, and Jesus in heaven. Once a big sheikh, he said to my father, he said to him, You are a very important man. And I would like really to invite you to accept Islam. And man, he was in our house. My father, he said to him, well, you are my guest. And I'm really, I appreciate your invitation, but I have a question for you. He said, sure. He said, where is Jesus now? The big shake is a big shake. He's a big, big deal shake. He said to my father, uh, well, he's in heaven. He said, well, I am alive right now. As long as I'm alive, I follow the living one. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so my father, he was respecting him because he's a guest in our house. He didn't want to insult him. He gave him a very polite answer, but it is humiliating. I follow the living one. You are following a dead man. In your cult, Jesus is alive. So why I want to be stupid to follow someone dead and leave the one who is alive, even if you claim that Jesus is a prophet? Why are you Muslim you follow Muhammad if Jesus is alive? We are followers of the living God, my friend. The Messiah, as simple as the following. He is the walking, talking, living word of God. And this is what is confirmed in the Quran. And this is what we prove it to you today. And your book could not understand the Trinity. Your book proved that Allah could not even explain his nature. Oh, what you say to me that Allah is one. But who is Allah? You do not know. Yet Allah have a hand. Allah have a face, Allah have five fingers, Allah have toes, Allah have a foot, Allah have a shin. With this,
I want to say thank you for being here again guys I really encourage you to help me and the reason I'm asking for more view is not because I don't have a view in my in, in my videos I know that there's tons of you are copying my videos and they have tens of thousands of view my YouTube page says to me that millions of people watch my videos but still I believe that we have to do more work don't just depend on me at least help share not only give a like download the video share the video share the link post in your Facebook post in Twitter it doesn't cost you money it doesn't cost you anything this is all what I'm asking for the Muslim they were posting Christian Prince is upset oh he is not making enough money that's why he want to stop doing broadcast my friend if I stop doing broadcast I will make less money because people they can donate if I am doing live broadcast not if I am not that is a stupid secondly it is your God who says if you give me money I will if you give me a mortgage or a loan I will forgive your sin Christian Prince he never said to anyone if you give me money I will forgive your sin but because you are following Muhammad who even asked you to give vagina of your wives not only your money to be forgiven to Muhammad you think that we are the same as you are we are not for sale my friend and what money somebody donated ten dollars is it worth it you are people of money you worship money your heaven is about gold and silver and vagina because you believe in money be aware that the Muslims always try to put down your spirit and my spirit never was down I just wanted to push the Christians to work harder for you have something nobody have we have the Messiah my friend they have nothing once a Muslim guy he said to me a long time ago I was just a youth he said to me we have believe but we don't have religion you Christians have religion but you don't have belief and I was wondering what this guy is saying he's older than me I did not understand what he mean later I understood he was admitting that Muslims have nothing they just have a belief fake belief but we are the one who have the real belief the real thing the real God The guy was trying to tell me that he believed in the Messiah. But what he can do? He have to say he's a Muslim. He's born of a Muslim family. He cannot change it. If he leave, they will kill him. So he said to me clearly, we have a belief, but we don't have a religion. You have a religion, but you don't have a belief. But in fact, he was judging because he don't see us praying in the street. But we do have a belief. The Muslim they think if we don't pray in the corners in the balcony in the street we don't have a belief but the fact we do have a belief more than anyone it is you Muslims who don't you are not even believing in Allah you are believing in the virgins you are believing in the boys and the and the heaven of the naked boys and the wine and the silver and the gold you don't believe in God we have God you have nothing your God is one, but he is one fake idiot God. Our God is one, but he is a true God. And the most important thing about following somebody, it doesn't matter who, is to compare. Can you find me someone like the Messiah? Find me someone, someone better than the Messiah and I will follow. Can you find me somebody says, love your enemy? In the year 2019, have you ever heard somebody accept 
to even think for a second to say to people love your enemy how superior he is how noble how high he is from above to say love your enemy I never heard this before from anyone I don't know which one is your God I do not know if you are an atheist I don't know if you believe or you don't believe but I never heard of somebody say such a thing that's even beyond imaginary this is beyond philosophy this is even beyond what you call I mean understanding of nature of a human being the Messiah was trying to carry us with him to be in his level so he said be holy as your father when they asked him how to pray he said to pray like this and he told them the prayer which all of us we knew our father out of heaven which is you have to say our father forgive to us the same we forgive to others which mean in Christianity love and forgiveness is the way of salvation in Islam revenge and hate and killing and a human blood sacrifice is the way to get a reward so I do not need really to study Islam very much to know that Islam is satanic because your God get happy when he see a bunch of women and children get explode and their blood is all over while my God don't accept that. Your God rejoice for death. My God, he was willing to sacrifice himself, not asking me to sacrifice myself for him. You sacrifice yourself to go to heaven to get vagina, not to believe in God. You don't believe in God, Muslims. And this is why Muhammad, he promised you vagina. And excuse me to say the word, but this is how it is. He did not promise you women, he promised you vagina. Because those women, you do not even know them. You do not know their names. You never met them, they are just made for sex. There's no feeling, there's no emotion. It's just pure pimp house. He did not promise you a woman you know, a woman you love. God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and 72 Eves. And the Messiah, he confirmed to us that our happiness is a lot more higher than a belly is full of food or having sex, for he is high and noble beyond imagination. So he said he and she they will not get married they will be the same as angels which mean he is freeing us from our slavery of need in islam you will be addicted to sex addicted to food you are sitting there for eternity doing nothing except eating and having sex i'm trying just to be polite not to say the f word but the fact the f word fit there perfectly while we are in heaven rejoicing with the Lord in a happiness nobody can imagine how it is have nothing to do with food your heaven is just from the belly and down your heaven is nothing but a Las Vegas keep dreaming keep dreaming I want to say thank you for being here all of you and Ante will see you again don't forget please to download and share the video and I will see you again may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord and Islam is false and thank you very much take care